and uh, this is Shushankaral. I welcome you to this tutorial from libreprogramming.org. I remember that in my last part uh, I said that uh, we will implement strcpy and strncpy but I thought uh, I should discuss memcpy and memmo a bit more. There is a bit of difference between these functions that is strcpy and strncpy take string or char pointers while mem copy and mem move take uh, void pointers that is generic pointers the destination for all four are modifiable while the destination for str uh, while the source for all four are const point const type that is these four functions guarantee that the source will not be modified so let's have a look at these functions so str and cpy takes the size as we have seen const care pointer care pointer destination care pointer destination cost care pointer source so now we see mem move mem moves is void pointer destination const void pointer source and size tn and then mem copy we see so we see void pointer destination const void pointer source and size tn score and okay so now I have created an int array of four elements and then I have B, C and D all are uh, B, C, B and C are four elements while D is only three elements. Now I do a mem copy from A to B and then copies A to C sorry mem copy from A to B and mem move A to C and the size is size of A and then I print B and C and then I do mem move so this is 12 bytes because I know integer size is three or four bytes on my system while here size of a is here so i could have said size of int multiplied by three because int can be two bytes so let's do that i want to copy three ints so i do not want it to become non-portable code so this ensures that the code remains portable because int may be two bytes maybe four bytes depending on your compiler and os let's try to compile on on this program string 3. So you see b is 1 2 3 4 c is also 1 2 3 4 while d is 1 2 3. Short and sweet. So this in fact you can apply it to float point float arrays float pointers or double to any kind of thing mem move and mem copy because these operate at byte level rather than operating at type level like strcpy and str and cpy just make sure that your size is appropriate and you should be fine and the destination has enough to store the so what you are copying it can also be used to do partial copy or a full copy as you wish from the source so that's it for now uh, in uh, our next part we will do str cpy and str and cpy implementation and we see how it works out Till then happy programming and if you like this video then please hit the like button and you can hit dislike as well if you dislike the video. Thanks for watching the video.